sweeties! When I was filming the previous video, you know the one of me doing my roots? <laughs> that, by the way, are growing already, seriously. That was three days ago. <laughs> anyway, that day I went through my hair dyeing stuff and I realized I've got so much stuff. <laughs> so I thought, why not film a video showing you all this stuff? Bear in mind I've just got all that because I changed my hair color like once a month <laughs> and I'm not trying to brag or anything in any way please don't think that because I'm really not I just know you guys like colorful hair as well so why not so first I'm gonna show you how I organize everything and more or less how I store all my stuff and then I'm gonna show you each thing separately in more detail but before we go anywhere <laughs> please subscribe because I post videos three times a week and you can be part of our family also give this video a thumbs up because it really helps the channel. <laughs> I keep my hair stuff on the last two drawers of my dressing table. This one is for hair products in general and this is for hair dyeing stuff. It's a bit hard to film like this so I'm sorry if I'm a bit shaky. So this is how I organize my hair dye. I'm gonna show you one by one in a minute. But I keep my crazy color ones here, these pink ones. Then my direction stuff some other brands here then i have these little pots of mixes i made myself with different hair dyes then i've got some bleach powder here and here and some cream peroxide and at the back i have some mixing pots loads of them hair bands hair brushes gloves white conditioners and some toning shampoos on the top drawer i've got all my colorful hair sprays then the sprays that were too big to stand up in the drawer <laughs> some creams and hair mask stuff and hair gel and then the back of the drawer is like other products that don't have anything to do with hair so I'm not gonna show you <laughs> let's start with crazy color yay I think I've got loads of this one because they sell it at the shop near my house and I don't need to order it online <laughs> I've got three pots of pinkissimo as you can see the other two here because I always end up dyeing my hair pink so it's good to have some extra pink then I've got emerald green pine green blue jade, sky blue and two fires from when I had red hair. Most of them are full but I think I used some of this one and this one but you never know when you're gonna need just a little bit of green to mix it with something. <laughs> then in my directions box that's so cute I've got Atlantic blue just a little bit left but it's always good to mix with other hair dyes to remove yellowy tones. Flamingo pink but I'm sure I mix it with something else because flamingo pink doesn't actually look like this. <laughs> Fire, almost finished. <laughs> and silver. Ooh, I haven't used it yet. Am I gonna use it? Mm. I get a bit scared because it looks so blue. I used to have loads of directions hair dye, but I obviously used everything already. Then I've got this purple by Schwarz... Schwarz... I cannot pronounce that. And I've got another pink hair dye by Adore. It's called Pink Blush, just because I saw it at the shop near my house as well and I want to try it because I never tried this brand before. It actually looks a bit used, but I don't remember using it. <laughs> then I've got these two other pots with hair dyes I mixed myself. Then here I've got all my bleach sachets, not just the four that usually comes in this box, but I had rests of bleach powders from other times I got bleach and stuff, so yeah. More bleach powder here, you never know when you're gonna need some bleach. And some 30 volume cream peroxide. Ooh, look how cheap that was. I've got this shampoo for after bleaching so your hair doesn't get orange. It's like a toning shampoo, I think I showed it on this channel like a hundred times already. And I've got color reducing shampoo for when I wanna fade my hair to prepare it for the next color. I've got loads of gloves, not loads, for actually. <laughs> hair dyeing brushes, whoo! Hair bands. I used to have loads of hair clips actually, but they disappeared. I cannot find any one. Not a single hair clip. I've got some white conditioner for when I want to mix it with the hair dye to make it lighter. And all these pots to mix the hair dye. I don't know why this is here. <laughs> then when it comes to colorful hairspray, I've got pink and blue and purple and lilac and mint green and this other electric blue and this one is actually really amazing. It's this glitter hairspray and I love it so much. Then I've got these other sprays. This one is an argan oil spray just to make your hair less 
dry and horrible by the brand I cannot pronounce Schwarzkopf did I say it right? then I've got some hairspray and this dry shampoo I actually really like Bleach London they have a lot of stuff for colorful hair and finally I've got argan oil and coconut oil I try to apply on my hair half an hour before I wash it because it's really nourishing if your hair is dry but I never actually do that <laughs> let's be honest <laughs> Tell me in the comments what hair color you've got. Even if it's not bright color, I don't care, I wanna know. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want, follow me on social media. Thank you so much for watching. Have a very, very lovely day. Mm.